everyone. Welcome to Virtuous Unisys Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how I make dry ogiri. So, let's get started. Okay, guys. If you go to my previous video where I make ogiri, it's the same process I use with this dried ogiri. I wash the sesame seed, which we call back home belly. After washing it, I put it in a pot, cover it with water, and allow it to boil and come to a dry point. After all the water dried up, I pour it into my siphon cloth in this tray. Okay? When it, and put it in the oven for like 10 15 minutes in a warm oven. So when it gets started, when it started drying up, I took it out into the sun for a day. Then the next day, I just keep it in my garage and it came out like this, crispy, okay? The best thing about this ogiri, it smells just like the fermented wet one, okay? But the difference is, this one can be stored in your cabinet for years, okay? So I'm just I just going to go ahead to to blend it into powder, okay? But one of these days I'm going to make a full video of it, okay, guys? So smooth See? and dried. Okay. See? See? Like flour. See? So dry. Okay. Guys, just like Ogini. Okay. families of friends okay guys see it just like melon seed called egusi egusi right smells just like ogiri, the same thing, okay, no difference, you know, see this one is dry and it can store for a longer time, okay, it can store it for a longer period of time, okay, so what I'm going to do, I have my zip log,
Okay, guys. See it. So we can package this and sell sent to Virginia, sent to Ohio, sent to Maryland, sent to North Carolina, you name it. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share i want to thank you all who are sending messages i appreciate you guys so much you are the best may god bless you and may god keep you all from all evil okay guys love you see you back again next time